Hi, Porik here from Hawkins. Well, it's a beautiful sunny day, the ideal day for putting your veggie pod growing unit together. Remember, the veggie pod comes in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. And today I'm going to put the large veggie pod together. It comprises of two elements, the stand, which is, takes about 20 minutes to put together. The stand is galvanized steel. It's very robust and very strong, and it's put together using an Allen key that's supplied. In the large box, you've got the covered mesh unit with the internal irrigation system, and you've also got the growing unit. And that'll take me about 40 or 50 minutes to put together. So let me show you how to do it. Remember the veggie pod comes in three sizes, the small, medium, and large. Today I'm going to put the large veggie pod together and it comprises of two key elements. First of all, the stand. And within the large stand, you've got two separate boxes. The two boxes are two medium stands. You can see them here. So my advice is to put those together they allow you then to sit your veggie pod right on top. The, the stand, the medium stand, is put together with a simple Allen key. It's got stainless steel bolts, they just all bolt together, and it'll take you about 20 minutes to put this large stand together. Within the box, you've got everything you need, including the mesh cover, the irrigation system, and the growing unit. So this is our mesh cover. This helps to keep the pests and the bugs out of the growing unit. So everything you need to put that together is here. That can be done separately. And within the box, we've got all the components we need to put the actual growing unit together. So firstly, I'll start with the stand. That's gonna take me about 20 minutes. Now the first step in putting your veggie pod together is to assemble the stands. And within the large veggie pod, it comprises of two medium stands that you put together first. Within the box, you've got the four legs. You've got the four leg stoppers. You also have four angle brackets to take the support bars. You've got the support bars themselves and the bars where the growing unit of the veggie pod would sit on. And all of these are simply put together using an Allen key that comes with the kit and stainless steel nuts and bolts. It's going to take me about 10 to 15 minutes to put each of the stands together. And once I've done that, we'll sit the veggie pod on top and get planted. Well, the first step in putting your veggie pod together is erecting the stands. Because once erected, you can then safely build your veggie pod on top. My advice when putting it together is to make sure that the nuts and bolts are put together just hand tight. So just screw them together, just hand tight firstly until you get everything lined up and into position. And then we can drive them home with the Allen key. So the last thing to do in, in completing this particular stand is to affix the legs. And the legs just simply fit into the corner here and are tightened up with the bolts. It's as simple as that. Well, that's it. The stand has been put together. Four legs are in place. The end caps are in place. And I've hand tightened all the nuts and bolts. So the last thing for me to do is to go around with the Allen key and give them a really good tighten tightening. And then we're ready to assemble part two of the stand. Once the two stands are together, then these two cross braces simply go between the both of the medium stands just to secure the whole thing together. But I'll show you that in a couple of minutes. Well, there you have it. That's the large veggie pod stand put together. Remember, it comprises of two medium stands with the cross base braces in between just for extra stability and to secure the frame together. It's a really strong structure, I have to say. Remember, my tip is when putting it together, hand tight all the nuts and bolts, first of all, before you drive them home with the Allen key. It's as simple as that, we're good to build the veggie pod. Well, step two in putting your veggie pod together is assembling the mesh cover, which comes in a box like this. It's a range of bars and the actual mesh cover. It all slides together, no two is required. It's very, very simple to put together. And also, I'm going to build the actual veggie pod growing unit. Remember, all the materials are actually food 
safe. So if you want to grow your vegetables organically, the Veggie Pod is a super piece of kit for growing your favorite five a day. And it's actually very, very simple to put together. It goes together like a Meccano set. It just all interlocks. Again, no tools required. So it's very simply simple. It's going to take me roughly about 50 minutes, maybe an hour, to put the final piece together, both the pod itself and the actual mesh, and then we're good to plant. Okay, well, step one is simply putting out the four trays. This is the large veggie pod, remember? I'm placing the four large trays up on the stand. By erecting it on the stand, it makes it so much easier. It's all at waist height. It's very simple to put together. The next thing we do is insert the internal trays. So there's three of these trays that fit into and just cover over the self-watering unit. And then it's only a matter of actually building the sides. These just fit on the sides of the veggie pod and are bolted down with nut and winged uh, with screws and winged nuts so it's very simple to put together it's only going to take me another 20 minutes and we're ready to plant the next stage in putting the veggie pod together is building the walls putting this rubber strip between the growing units and simply securing it with these plastic inserts they simply just fit in and give them a slight tap it's as easy as that putting it together. It's actually a very simple and easy kit to put together. There are no tools required. All the nuts and bolts simply work on plastic screws, which again are food safe, and wing nuts, and you simply just tighten them up and the whole thing tightens up together. Really fun to put together, very easy to put together, and no tools required. Well, that's the veggie pod nearly put together. We've built the side walls. We've got the four growing units secured together. It all fits together very, very simply without the need of any special tools. It's all hand tightening of plastic nuts and wing units. And all the pieces just fit together like a Meccano or Lego set. You simply slot them in, and push them home. It's as easy as that. We're now ready to plant up the veggie pod with our favorite five a day. I'm going to use the Horkins compost enriched with some farmer manure, composted farmer manure from Bordemona and some vermiculite is the ideal growing mix for our five a day. Remember, all the materials used in the veggie pod are food safe. So you can grow your vegetables, fruit and herbs in an organic fashion. Step three is getting the growing mix together for the uh, veggie pod and filling the individual four units before we plant. The first material I'm using is some vermiculite or indeed you can use perlite. And that simply goes into the bottom of each of the pods, just covering the base unit. The idea of the vermiculite is to help a process called osmosis, which means that the water that's held in the self-washing unit will be absorbed and wicked up into the compost as the compost dries out. So we simply spread the vermiculite evenly and lightly under on top of the base of the covered unit. And that will allow then that process of water to pass through. Once I've filled the base with vermiculite, I'm going to add the organic compost and farmer manure and mix that together. And I'll finally add a final layer of vermiculite into the planting mix before we start planting. So we're nearly there. I've filled the veggie pod with some Horkins compost. I'm going to mix some of the organic farmer manure from Bordemone. It's really, really good, particularly for fruiting, vegetables, herbs, and salad crops. They absolutely love this organic matter, incorporated it into the soil. It will help to feed them right through the growing season. And finally, I'm going to add some more vermiculite, and that just helps with the planting process. It makes it easier to plant your five a day. So we'll add a little bit more of all of this to help to fill up the veggie pod. Don't be afraid as well to push down the compost before planting, firm it in well, because that compost will settle over the growing season. Once we've that done, we're good to plant. Well, step four, the final step in the puzzle, is putting the mesh cover tunnel together. It's a simple interlocking system. The steel bars slot into the interlocking pieces. There's no tools required. It's a very simple and sturdy frame to put together. You'll also notice the internal irrigation system. It's got four nozzles strategically placed to water the four grow pods. And the final step is to put the mesh cover on over the top of the frame. And that simply attaches by these Velcro strips. You simply 
push them together and that forms a tight seal. The micro mesh itself creates a microclimate for your plants. It'll increase growth by up to 50%. But more importantly, it'll keep those harmful bugs like white fly, black fly, green fly, caterpillars, and general garden bugs from attacking your plants. So the final step is really to put this onto the frame, affix it to the veggie pod, and we're ready to plant. Well, that's the mesh frame put together. The mesh fits tightly down over the metal frame. Make sure that you have the metal frame properly secured into its holding slots, and then put the mesh frame on. And finally then, to affix the mesh frame to the veggie pod, you simply slip out these plastic inserts and pop in these U-shaped clips that will actually hold the frame. When you're applying them, just make sure that they click tightly into place. You'll hear a clicking sound like that. And that's it firmly in place, and the metal bar from the mesh frame will slit into that and it'll hold it firmly. So there you are. It's roughly about an hour and a half since we started putting the veggie pod together. Remember, we built the stands first of all. We built the actual unit itself, filled it then with the Horkins compost, mixed with the farm manure and, and vermiculite. And now we're ready to plant. We'll fit roughly about 70 plants, different vegetables, herbs, and some fruiting plants into the large veggie pod. So I have strawberries ready to go, some lettuce, some parsley, some oak leaf lettuce. I have some lemon balm herbs, but it can be any herb that you particularly like. I've got the small bush tomatoes, one called Red Perfusion. We've got some kale to use as leaf, some more little gem salad crops, and I'm going to finish off by planting some shallots. So it's as simple as that. The planting is probably the easiest part. It'll take me probably four or five minutes to plant it up. You give it a good watering, and then you close down the actual lid of the veggie pod and close it, firm it into place like that. Remember the mesh cover is going to create a microclimate. It's going to encourage your plants to grow 50% faster than they normally would. But more importantly, it's going to keep any of those harmful pests like green fly, black fly, white fly, caterpillars, and other bugs that are going to affect your plants. It'll stop the need for the use of pesticides. So if you want to grow your five a day in an organic fashion, my advice is to plant them in the veggie pod. It's easy, it's fun, and very rude. Within a month, the plants were ready for picking. The veggie pod is the best way to grow your five a day. It's easy and it's fun.